Art Van Furniture and Gardner White Furniture compete in three Michigan markets which are worth $120 million, $60 million, and $30 million per year respectively. Each will spend either $10 million or $20 million on television advertising per year in each market. Profits are determined by the formula pi i equals ai over at times the market size minus ai. Let us interpret what ai on at represents. AT is the total amount of advertising expenditure in the market, and AI is the amount of advertising by the ith firm. So, because there are two firms, A1 will be the amount of advertising expenditure by firm 1, and A2 would be the amount of advertising expenditure by firm 2. So, if each firm is spending the same amount, AI on AT would be one half. If one firm is spending twice as much as the other, AI on AT will be one-third and two-thirds respectively. Notice that these shares must sum to one because that's just the way it works. So we're saying that the profit is your share of expenditure as a proportion of the market size minus the amount you spend on advertising. So for a market size of $120 million, if each firm is going to spend $10 million, then we have pi equals one half of 120, which is 60, minus 10. So for each firm spending $10 million, the total amount being spent is 20 million. So AI on AT will be one half, or 10 over 20. The market size is 120 million. So we have one half of 120, which is 60, minus AI. And if AI is 10, then pi I is 60 minus 10 equals 50. Let us now try A1 equals 20 and A2 equals 10. That puts us in the bottom left-hand cell of the four cells in the matrix. So Art Van is spending 20 million while Gardner White is spending 10 million on advertising. Art Van is spending twice as much as Gardner White, so that would be two-thirds of the total advertising expenditure in a market of 120 million. So we have two-thirds of 120, which is 80 minus the amount Art Van is spending in that market, which is 20 million. So 80 minus 20 equals 60. Analogously, Gardner White is spending one third of the total amount of advertising expenditure in the market. One third of 120 is 40. Because it's spending 10 million, we have 40 minus 10 equals 30. And now we've accounted for the two numbers in the bottom left-hand cell, 60 million and 30 million respectively. It should be obvious when Art Van is the one spending 10 million and Gardner White is the one spending 20 million that the numbers we just got would be reversed. So the 60 million, 30 million outcomes when Art Van is spending 20 and Gardner White is spending 10 will be reversed so that when Art Van is spending 10 million and Gardner White is spending 20 million, Art Van makes a profit of 30 million and Gardner White makes a profit of 60 million. Finally, the fourth cell. Each firm is spending 20 million, so each is spending half of the total amount being spent on advertising. So we're back to the situation of the first cell, which is the upper left hand cell. Each is then making one half of 120 million, which is 60 million, minus 20 million, which is the expenditure. So we have 60 million minus 20 million equals 40 million. Notice then that when both firms spend 10 million, they make 50 million in profits. When both spend 20 million, they make 40 million in profits. This is because the expenditure is not bringing extra customers into the market because we say the market size is fixed. This means that the advertising is just a way to steal market share from your competitor. We now ask the question, does either firm have a dominant strategy? And if so, what is that strategy? The way we've defined a dominant strategy is a strategy that dominates. So there are two strategies, to spend 10 million or to spend 20 million. Notice that when Gardner White is spending 10 million, so we're only considering the two left-hand cells, Art Van can spend 10 million and make 50 million in profit, or spend 20 million and make 60 million dollars in profit. Since 60 million is higher than 50 million, Art Van will spend 20 million when Gardner White spends 10 million. Let us move to the right-hand cells, and we notice that when Gardner White is spending 20 million, Art Van can spend 10 million and make 30 million in profit, or spend 20 million and make 40 million dollars in profit. Since 40 million is greater than 30 million, 
the strategy of spending 20 million will dominate the strategy of spending 10 million therefore we have Art Van spending 20 million when Gardner White spends 20 million. Let us review what we've just done. We've asked the question when Gardner White's state of nature is to spend 10 million what will Art Van do? And the answer is Art Van will spend 20 million when Gardner White spends 10 million. Secondly, when Gardner White spends 20 million what will Art Van do? The answer is again that Art Van will spend 20 million. We state that regardless of what Gardner White does to spend 10 million or 20 million, Art Van has a dominant strategy to spend 20 million because spending 20 million will give Art Van more profits than spending 10 million. We say that Art Van has a dominant strategy because the strategy of spending 20 million will dominate the strategy of spending 10 million. Let us consider what Gardner White will do. When Art Van spends 10 million, we're considering the top two cells, and we notice that Gardner White will make more profit when it spends 20 million than when it spends 10 million. Finally, let us consider the case when Art Van spends 20 million. Because the strategy to spend 20 million will dominate the strategy to spend 10 million, we say that Gardner White has a dominant strategy. Because both firms have a dominant strategy, which is to spend 20 million, while they could be more profitable spending 10 million each, they will move towards spending 20 million each, which causes them to lose profitability. This outcome is called a prisoner's dilemma because acting in their self-interest, each firm ends up being worse off. We want to consider two more market sizes, and let us move to the case where the market size is 60 million. The revenue to each firm, when we are spending the same amount, let us consider spending 10 million. The revenue to each firm will be 30 million. When we subtract the cost of 10 million, we can see that both firms will make 20 million as their profits. For the case where both firms spend 20 million on advertising, because their revenues are again 30 million each, 30 minus 20 leaves them with 10 million dollars each. So the upper left hand cell will yield profit outcomes of 20 and 20 million. The bottom right hand cell will yield profit outcomes of 10 and 10 million. And now we need to consider the situation when Art Van spends twice as much as Gardner White. The firm that spends twice as much will get twice as much revenue. So of the 60 million dollars, whoever is spending 20 when the other spends 10 will make 40 million in revenue. 40 million minus 20 million in expenditure will be 20 million dollars in profit and the second firm that's spending 10 million will get one-third of the revenue so 20 million in revenues minus 10 million is 10 million in profits again the profit outcomes when each firm spends 10 million will be 30 minus 10 equals 20 so both numbers in the upper left hand cell will be 20 million and in the bottom right hand cell when each firm spends 20 million, it will make half of the market size as its revenue, 30 million in revenue, minus 20 equals 10 million in profits. So we've accounted for the 10 millions in the bottom right hand cell and the 20 million in the top left hand cell. The firm that spends twice as much will get two thirds of the revenue. So the firm that spends 20 when the other spends 10 will get 40 in revenue, minus 20 equals 20 in profit. And the second firm that spends 10 will get one third of the market, which is 20, minus 10 in expenditure, so we get a profit of 10. We've accounted for all four sets of outcomes. Now let us consider what the firms will actually do. Recall that in the first case, where the market size was 120 million, we obtained a prisoner's dilemma, where each firm was going to try to outspend the other, and we end up with a case where both firms make less profit, 40 million when they could have made 50 million. In our second example, when the market size is 60 million, there's no advantage to spending 20 million. If Art Van were to spend 20 million, it will not increase its profit from 20 million. All it will do is hurt Gardner White, whose profit will go from 20 million to 10 million. Because Gardner White has nothing to lose by increasing its expenditure to 20 million, it will proceed to do that, and this will cause Art Van's profits to go down from 20 to 10 million. What will the outcome be? It is hard to say at this stage, but each firm recognizing that 
increasing expenditure will not cause it to make a benefit will probably stay with 10 million as its expenditure when the market size is greater than 60 million then we will have the prisoner's dilemma outcome but when the market size is at 60 million or lower we're going to have the firms staying at the lower level of expenditure let us now consider the smallest market size of 30 million when the two firms spend the same amount they each get half of the revenue which is 15 million spending 10 million on advertising we end up with 15 minus 10 equals 5 million dollars each when both attempt to spend 20 million they will still make 15 million in revenue which is half of the market and now they're spending more than they're earning so we can see that both will end up with losses so in the bottom right hand cell we have minus 5 and minus 5 respectively in the top left hand cell they both end up with 5 million in profit in the bottom right hand cell they both end up with 5 million in losses final question when one firm decides to spend 20 million when the other is spending 10 million it will earn two-thirds of the market's revenues so two-thirds of 30 is 20 million and if you spend 20 million on advertising when your revenue is 20 million you will make zero profit the other firm that gets one-third of the market which will be 10 million if it spends 10 million on advertising it will end up with zero profit we can then understand all of the outcomes in this particular payoff matrix and now we ask the question what is likely to obtain when Gardner White spends 10 million Art Van should spend 10 million because 5 is greater than 0 and when Gardner White spends 20 million Art Van should spend 10 million because 0 is greater than minus 5 so we say that Art Van has a dominant strategy to spend 10 million and again because the problem is symmetric Gardner White will also have a dominant strategy to spend 10 million so we see when the market size is sufficiently small anything below 60 million that both firms will stay with a lower level of expenditure which is 10 million because to go beyond that would cause them to make losses